All right, we're back. It's the Circling Back Podcast. You can't see shit in these eclipse glasses. I'm Dave. I'm going to host today. Guess who's here, though? It's none other than producer Randy, and he's doing great. What's up, brother? Game day, game day. All right. Doing shivery in the building. It's not game day. It's eclipse day, Randy. It's game day. You can't day. see anything out of these glasses. You really can't. I'm, I, dude, like I get just pitch black. I'm so pissed off I forgot my croquis. <laughs> Oh, I have some in the whip. I can I can hook up. You brought your croaks? Dude, I always keep them with me. You never know when you need a croak up. Oh, I need my croakies. I need my flofers too. I'll, I don't know if you remember, but I was in a frat, so. Oh, I forgot about that. Hang on. I got them at the ready. All right, that's not going to. You took them off? I took them off. It's just, it's very hard to pod when you can't see fucking shit. What's up, fam? You know, I like I, these. I do see a guy who's not going to be with us long. Not because he's oh, got he's a sick? date with Destiny, but because oh. he's going to the Masters. It's Will DeFreeze. So where's Clips performing today in uh, Austin, Texas? Dude, kind of everywhere. That's a whole thing, man. Damn, did the eclipse already happen? Because when I have these these glasses on, it's so dark out. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's just simulates an eclipse. Bro, let's go out this afternoon. Did I fuck up by not going to the Masters on Monday so I could get Masters eclipse glasses? Dude, I, you need to go dig through the trash. Oh, I'll be, I will be on high alert. <laughs> I will swag. be on high alert. Those are mega swag. How much can those sell for on eBay, like, right now? You need to get them. You need to cut out the um, the sun blocker and just wear them as, like, dope glasses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. What's your problem? Hey, man, you're being kind of a bitch today, Dylan. Wow, dude. You, you got mellous, major jealous guy energy of uh, someone who's not going to the Masters. For a guy I mean, who's been to the Masters, for you to be jealous, I'm the one who Dave should be. Dave should be fucking I pissed. should be, but I'm not. Yeah, but I'm practice happy. round, does that really count? Yeah, it does. Does that really count, Dave? Dude. How, how do, what's your mindset like right now? I don't know. I'm kind of anxious about everything. Not anxious. That's a bad word. I'm like worried about everything right now. Like what if something goes wrong? What's going to go wrong? I don't man? know, dude. Where's it's a rogue question? rainstorm. Like, dude, are you going to watch guys skip it across the shit at 16? I guess. I don't know. Skip it across the shit? You mean the water? The water. I'll be honest. I've done zero research about this entire situation. So it's it's uh, Augusta National is where they play it. Yeah. It's a four-day. No, it's Augusta. It's a four-day tournament. Starts Thursday and Sunday. Yeah. There's a cut after Friday. Damn, I live in the cut. Sandy Lyle. Oh, he's not playing anymore, is he? Hey, what if you went to the drive, chip, and putt, but that was all you went to? I, I would rather save my trip. Is that the match? Did you go to the best? No, that is not. That actually doesn't did. count. What's cool is that they're driving, chipping, and putting. They're children. They're doing all three. They're children. Hey, you put those together, maybe add in some irons, some iron shots. Why don't they add Might a category of them the pissing on a three wood into the par five? <laughs> Dude, they need a flop shot category. Yeah, that'd be sick. These kids need to flop it. These kids. Who won? Tiger Woods. He's just man in his 40s randy randy came in today just dropped the ball on the ground like i'm not doing well yeah we can save it for this weekend and recapping this weekend and fun but i am hurting this, this is 30 guys man oh man who i'm shut old up. shut the fuck oh, up yeah happy birthday hey, God. randy what are you gonna do tonight uh if there aren't uh onions being caramelized within the confines of my kitchen if like, Purdue loses, it's because you didn't you didn't do your on onion shit. I was very appreciative that you did cook. Onions. I sauteed onions, or I, I caramelized onions uh, during the Elite Eight game as well as the Final Four game. But I will I will not be able to caramelize any onions tonight, as I will not be at my house. I'm gonna just take it as you know they won more games outside of you caramelizing onions. Yeah. So I think they'll be fine. I hope. I don't know. UConn's. Whew. You need to bring some for your pimento cheese sandwich. True. It's true. Just bring them in I your pockets. I packed my fanny pack today. It's all ready to go in my uh, my backpack. You have your camera in I there? do. I do. Yeah. Yep. Got Tell any... us about this new camera. I don't know. I don't know. It's probably like I have major concern just going to fuck up and I'm going to lose a bunch of film. Wait, I have a, a, a dumb question. Yeah. Can you not bring like a, a phone and take phone pics? No. Oh, but you are allowed to bring a, a click camera. Yeah. Okay. Did not know. Yeah. Yeah. As I've never attended a practice round, I've only like actual. Just tournament. the camera, just the camera. Why'd you look at me? Why'd you give me a cocky snap? <laughs> that was me, dude. You know Dave's never been. So yeah, you, you just hear little clicks all over the place now, like 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 we're back in 1994. Yeah. Okay. Sure. That's kind of cool. Sure. Surprised you didn't know that. I've never been to a practice round. You sound like the kind of guy who thinks that they have cart paths out there. 
In terms of excitement, I'm like 95% excited to see the course and like 5% excited to see the pros. As you should. It's, it's, it's like, more like 98 too. We've been so spoiled by the PGA Tour throughout our life that like going and seeing these guys play is really cool every time. But like it's not essential that I see certain people. Just seeing the course is, is all. Don't you got to, take... to interview Tom Hoagie with me. Take pictures of the cart paths for proof. You did. I'll find one. Uh I'll find a I'll, I will find one single path that a cart can go on. When do you come back? Wednesday? Wednesday. I will I would like to call in Wednesday if timing allows and if things go well. Okay. Um, we, 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 I should be at the airport while you guys are recording. If I'm not, I should be somewhere stable. I don't really have much to do on this trip other than attend the Masters. You should go to the cell phone lot. They have a lot at the airport specifically for cell phones. Have you seen that? I've never understood how cell phones can actually drive their cars to the it's lot. Pretty bizarre. You ever been in there? I yeah. have, yeah. What's I don't get it. It's an all time sure it's an all time place to get robbed to me because everyone's <laughs> just sitting staring at their phone waiting for someone to text them. Yeah. And so everyone's got their head down. Suddenly you got a bullet through your head and you're sitting there. Okay, I don't I don't know if you well, have to absolutely commit the murder. It was a drive by fruiting. No, it wasn't. That's a different type of it thing. It wasn't. You're throwing fruit, lime, citrus. Hey man. Go to youtube.com slash circling back. Randy, tell them about the premieres that you've been nailing. I I messed up one time. That was during producer week, so it's fine. Yeah, no, we uh every Monday and Wednesday the episode will be premiering on YouTube. All that means is that it'll be a live viewing and you can be in the chat with other people. So hop in if you want to. That's 2 30 central time. You can you can uh comment on our jokes in real time. So exciting. Tell people what works, what didn't. Be like, mm, didn't land. Probably doing a little much. Dave needs to just dial it back a bit. Will's got the glasses on again. I don't think I'm going to use them. You're just going to trump it? Yep. Okay. I'm built different. Like like the, the instrument? I don't know how this is going to play from a plane. <laughs> okay. Are you going to bring those on the plane? <laughs> yeah, of course I'm going to bring them are on you, the plane. Are you more likely to get sun damage to the retinas if you're on the plane? Because you know, I don't know. Like, I'm, worried they're gonna sh- I'm worried they're going to be like, if you're on this side of the plane, put your window down. We don't want any retinas. No, out. they're not going to be like that. I'll fucking do it again. I'll fucking do it again. Trump, that's Trump. Have yeah. you thought about what a Boeing plane might uh, have happened to it during an eclipse? No one's thought of that. No. No. What We're if it's not eclipse ass, ready? What if the light never comes back on? Like, what if it just stays dark forever? If you miss it, you can catch the next one, which is about 300 years from now. I don't think I'll be alive for that unless Brian Johnson's uh, tactics really start kicking in. What if it's just his penis that survives? Because it's a penis play, no? Yeah. They still have Rasputin's dick in a jar. Dude, they should, like, put his dick in a box. <laughs> they have Rasputin's dick is in a jar somewhere? Yeah. Look it up. I don't he was that. a real scumbag. I know who Rasputin yeah. is, but, like... You what, know what kind of me is he? Some was, people don't. Oh, it, was he working with? It was, it was a sizable <coughs> piece. I feel like the only thing I know about Rasputin is he's got his meat in a jar. What's sizable from back then? Uh, look it up. You can see it. it's in the jar. It's, mm. It was. It was. He was known for being a well endowed man. Rasputin penis. Hey, also uh, check out okay. our Substack, <laughs> wash.substack.com. We've got some content flowing out of there. You never know. You Jesus. might get a calm, except for Friday. Then you know you are getting Wash Weekly. People will love it. Um, this previous week, what did we got? Will doing an uh, What did you do? What was your Friday? A fat ass bruiser. You did a fat. You did. You did cover up all the gums. Um, no, on Friday I wrote. I did a timeline, a seventeen hundred word timeline, of uh, my trip to Las Vegas with Brett, um, mm. where uh, Brett showed me that I don't know how to drink anymore. Yeah, I talked about the post grad problems subreddit where. Um, Circling back listeners are just trolling people on there in a very funny way. Very, very funny way. Imagine if you were one of those people and you were just sitting there and you were like, you were so down bad that you went to this post-grad problems. Like I need career subject. advice. Like I'm, I'm drowning in my, in my career path. I can't move up the ladder at all. I don't know what to do. I have all this student debt I need to pay off. And someone's like, hey, man, how about you throw a fat ass dip in? Yeah. Hey, what yeah. if you bought, bought a Bluetooth speaker? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I th- one of my favorite was the one that was it hard to say, and it was all four different people commenting. Like, clearly. Yeah, like, come on, man. I mean, like, yeah, people are doing bits that you can't even, like, figure out. Like, there's no way you're going to get to the bottom of what's going on. It's it's a tough scene in there sometimes. Yeah, that was, um, 
That's been kind of a um, under the radar, sneaky, funny thing we've been looking at for like the last five years. Yeah. And Dave, you did a hog reveal for your column in the last one, right? Yeah, I got to interview David Hogg. <laughs> no, I, I um I just did my staple, but I did reveal I did reveal some things. Um, I didn't I didn't hog, but I guess I'll say for this weekend and fun, I did fuck up a skirt steak. Why? Because I just didn't marinate it correctly, and the citrus didn't do its job. And when not everybody's clicking and doing their jobs, bad things happen. And you get some tough steak that I'm going to eat for leftover lunch today. How about that? Okay. That's why I brought my giant Yeti cooler in today. Okay. Yeah, they, they brought a whole Yeti cooler in for his lunch. Yeah, I did. I did. Is it a coffin cooler? It's not a coffin. I didn't wheel in the coffin. Let's recap this weekend of fun presented by Muggsy. Ooh. Oh, shit. I'm leaving in a few minutes here, but I'll vibe for now. Muggsy go makes first, then. damn comfortable clothing for guys everywhere. You know that. They started by reinventing the jeans game in 2015, and now they make the best jeans. Chinos, tops, and joggers ever. Muggsy works exclusively, exclusively with some of the best designers and manufacturers around the world to deliver the finest quality fabrics directly to your door. Their entire goal is making guys more comfortable at work, at the bar, on the course, wherever, by giving them one place to shop made from buttery, soft, patented stretch materials. Ooh. They look stylish but are insanely comfortable. Never too baggy, never too tight. Over 18,000 five-star reviews from dudes of every shape and size. I was rocking the t-shirt last week. I rocked the jeans over the weekend. Will's going to be at the Masters. Who knows? He's I, probably got some Muggsy packed. I can't stop wearing the jeans. I can't stop. They're great. Every time I go to the closet, I'm like, all right, you got to switch up, man. What? Do something different than Muggsy. I always just You know they're not meant for working out, right? You can work out them because they're stretchy enough, but like you don't have to work out in them. I'm working out in them. I'm walking the trail in them. I'm swimming in them. That's true. We did swim in them. <laughs> we went, yeah. I mean. Specs. Yeah, they do work pretty good as a swimsuit, but they also have swimsuits, which is nice. First-time customers can get 20% back on their first order right now. All you need to do is head to Muggsy.com and enter your email, and your discount is automatically added. Whoa. How about that? That's 20% back on the only jeans and pants you will ever wear again, free shipping and free returns on every single order, so the only risk is never knowing how great they truly are. Go to Muggsy.com, enter your email, and it does it. 20% back as it right to your cart. Check it out, Muggsy.com. Will, your weekend. Just a massive weekend for me and the lads. Sat at home. Uh, I was on solo dad duty as my wife was on a bachelorette party mm -hmm. in New Orleans, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. um, got them to bed Friday night. Um, ate some leftover chicken tenders that I had prepared uh, in the air fryer. These were mm. frozen. I did not actually bread these myself as I do not know how to do that. And I don't trust myself making chicken most of the time. Dude, I hit that new Vampire Weekend album. Put it on the, the sound system. Getting a lot of buzz. It's good. It's good. I've liked good what album. I've heard. It's good, yes? good 10 songs. Not a lot of skips. <laughs> Dylan well, either like, sneaky likes Vampire Weekend or would like or would just absolutely despise everything that band's about. I'll be honest. I'm not too familiar with their... I mean, I've heard of them obviously, but I don't really know their stuff. We'll it, run it this afternoon. It's going to get a second spin at the airport here in a few minutes here. Wow. Um, okay. You know I got it on vinyl already. I actually bought it on vinyl yesterday. Oh, I, bought, I got it two days ago. Yep, yep. I, had to, had, I liked it so much that I was like, this gets the nod. And they're, they're a band I very much enjoy. Um, Saturday. Uh, oh, and uh, Saturday, I, I finally did something that I've been trying to do for a long time. I got Fritz hooked on Austin FC. We put on the jersey. I showed them that they were wearing a similar jersey on the television, that mm -hmm. they were about to play a game. Uh, did you guys by any chance watch this Austin FC match on Saturday night? Did Followed not. it via Twitter. They were down 2-0, and then they scored uh, two goals in about six minutes to tie the game. And then uh, they won it in the 100th minute of the game. Absolute scenes. What a time. Was Fridge still dialed in? And that went uh, down. No, no, he had been long asleep at that point, but uh, he did learn a a chant. All right, all right, all right, all right. You understand Austin the rest of FC. Wooderson. All right. right. He loves it. He loves it. He's doing the the Buick thing. McConaughey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, McConaughey. I thought he was doing the my my wrist is fine for Mighty Ducks too. Woke up. Pain was gone. No. Pain's still there. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I got him hooked on it. It feels good. Uh, it's an enjoyable time. Uh, also got him, he's addicted to watering the flowers. Kid just can't get enough watering. I'm afraid he's going to kill them all. 
So it's good. Water bill is going to be high and flower is going to be dead. And that's that. Do okay. you use an attachment or are you doing like oh, a yeah, thumb I'm method? Oh, yeah. I'm an attachment boy for sure, dude. You can't thumb it. There's you a thumb method. You can thumb anything. anything. You can, yeah. You can't thumb it. Dylan. You can thumb anything with a hole. You tell me Including never thumbed the hose. it. You know what I'm talking about? You create the mist. Of course. Why are you acting like that's so crazy? Sorry. Oh, sorry. I don't have attachment money. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You're, I didn't, I didn't, sorry. I'm, you're showing your geez. privilege right now, dude. You got attachment money? We could buy you an attachment. Those company. things are like six bucks. Yeah, you get one. They break. They do. They break. If you leave them out by the side of the house, They're they don't body. really make it through the winter. Sounds like a killer weekend. Yeah, man. Do you need to get out of here? I mean, in a, yeah, in a few okay. seconds. Like, can I talk about my weekend yeah. while you're sitting here? Yeah, you can. Pretty solid weekend, actually. Uh, was with Parks Friday, Saturday. Just went on a bike ride. Uh, we went swimming on Friday. That was lit. Where? Uh, it, in my place. Okay. Just a pool there. I tried to talk him into going to Barton Springs and meet up with Sauce, actually, but he wasn't into it. He says it's too cold. He told me Sauce was swagless. Yeah. Did you see that Sauce um, actually saw... Um, you got you might know him from True Detective, Woody Harrelson. What a text message that was! Tell him about the text. Got a text from our friend James, aka Sauce. He was at Barton Springs. He goes, "Dude, uh, Woody Harrelson uh, from from True Detective season one is here." I'm like, "Wait, okay, hold on a sec." I'm 40 years old. Woody you Harrelson, might know him from this. He's, he's been a staple in my life uh, for I don't know 20 plus years. And but he did he did come around and correct it. He goes, okay, how about this? Woody Harrelson from White Men Can't Jump. I said, that's much better. There you go. I'll go. take that. Uh, pretty funny text from Sauce. Yeah, we didn't go to Barton Springs, but we still got to swim off. Saturday went to my dad's, saw some family, had some barbecue over there, had a had a few frosty boys. And then Parks had a baseball game on Sunday afternoon. More on that in a little bit. And uh yes, yeah, played my Zog card, went to Pine House yesterday. And what'd you was, go with? I went with uh, a lady friend of mine. No, no, no I mean like Zaw. Oh, what did I go with? I said, I this said guy. Who? We've been doing the uh, the pepperoni basil, and I add sausage to it, and it's gas. Mm. It's really, really good. Mm. And of course, a pizza roll. Oh yeah, and maybe a electric jellyfish also. Somebody was a bad boy. I was a bad it's boy. Electric it was electrifying and that's it man pretty solid weekend fantastic just i'm just getting geared up for this eclipse man come on i have eclipse fever if you got if I you got, got like if you got like a thousand dollars for every jellyfish that you could take down every hazy boy in one sitting in one sitting how many could you do a thousand bucks yeah does he have to keep it down? Ooh, yeah, uh, you have to keep it down. You, you, the, five? the pot, like everything oh. stops if you throw They're up. So if you strong, throw up, man. you owe all that money. I don't know. No, no, no. I don't throw no, up. No, I drinking. want him to drink. To, I want him to drink to capacity. Okay. Come I'll, out. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. You don't throw up from drinking? I don't throw up from drinking. Right. The last time I did, I was in high school. I bet if you tried to max out on uh, electric jellyfish hazy IPAs, you would throw up. There's no yeah. way you could keep that down. Uh, I could keep seven up and down. There's no way. Seven? I don't. I don't believe that for seven thousand dollars. Sure, you've got cocky mannerisms right now. I don't like it. Cocky guy. I'm. I'm saying four for me because two, and I'm. I'm pretty much. I've done a miserable. four pack before, and I'm I. Re I regretted it. I'm I drinking fast. I mean, I'm gonna. It's gonna wreck the next two days of my life. You know what I did the all weekend? The next day. You know what I drank this weekend? What? I drank one thing and one thing only. You know, I talked a big game in uh, Wash Weekly about going red stripe. Yeah. I pivoted. Pacifico. Peroni. Oh, Roni boy, dude. Yeah. Little Roni. Nastro Azuro. You know what it is. Dude, oh, yeah. You could, every time I take like the first sip of one of those, it's like half gone. <sighs> They're so it's, good. It's I so just can't, fun. I can't take it away from my lips. It's a very drinkable beer. It's a, it's a nice weekend beer when it's warm out but not too hot. Mm. But I think even in the heat, it plays. Did you delete any? Cool, Adam's I, favorite beer. I drank a well. I drank a zillion. No, he did say it was his favorite. He said it was the best he's ever had. Cool, Adam. There's a difference. Yeah, there's our a old, difference. Our old intern. We brought. We he came to the Christmas party at a very nice Italian restaurant in town, and he had tell the story. Randy, he, you tell it. We went to a nice Italian restaurant okay. for uh, for the Christmas party, and he drank, got a Peroni, and he took a sip of it and said, "Wow." That is the best beer I've ever had. And like, this was news to him. And then 
him and I proceeded to go to a pop punk show and he crowd surfed and we both got COVID. You guys got the entire company infected with the coronavirus, huh? Is it cool to be in the presence of someone who is literally having the best beer of their life right then? What a what a night for him. Best beer he's ever had, and then he was crowd surfing like an hour or two later. Is that kind of sad that we'll probably never have that moment where we'll have like we'll take a sip of something or eat, take a bite of something, be like, that's the best blank I've ever had. We we can still have those moments. I don't know. I just feel like we're on the wrong side of best. It's gotta blank. be a wine or a bourbon out there you haven't had yet. They're just gonna rock your shit, you know? Yeah. They've been calling me Jason Barolo lately because I've been on my red wine shit. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Who, who was? Who exactly is J calling J you that? J Jr. Like everybody? No, Remember just the the waiter at the restaurant when I said, "Hey, can you please just call me Jason Barolo for the rest of the night?" <laughs> Remember when he fell down the stairs at that award show? Yeah. It was so embarrassing. People have been calling me Jason Barolo because I fell down the stairs at Matt's El Rancho one time. You did. Damn, dude. There's not there's not stairs. You look swag with those. The stairs. Uh, you can find. You can find. Uh, there's a stair. There's stair. There's a step. There's a step. I got to tell you, what Will said is not a joke. Yeah. We watched him. There is stair in slow motion. Fall down those stairs and into the uh, metal tables. What was that event? It was crazy. No, it was a crazy I think event. it was post. Uh, I think it was post Pearl's Crawfish Boil, which is an all-you-can-drink event. Mm. So I, I don't claim any responsibility. Is that a different? Time than when you passed out at the table. I, I Dylan, I'm not kidding yes. what I say. I think that was a different year of the Perlis Crawfish. Boil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so think by the same, but same event, different year. Yeah, I think like there was a time when I told Sally like I don't want to go to the Perlis. No, if we go to the Crawfish Boil, I'm not going somewhere after because the last three years I've gone somewhere after and wanted to die the next day. Right. What well, first year went to uh, uh, Perry's? No. Eddie V's. Eddie V's and got Bananas Foster Why and did drinks. Why did we do that? Because we're idiots. Because the they, they have all day happy hour in the bar on oh, Sunday. Oh, yeah. And then we did uh, – and then, yeah, the Matt's All Ranch the, the two years after, and I just got – no, I can't do it. I can't hang. That's a fun event. Highly recommend if they still do it. I don't know if they do or not. If you if you go to an event that's all you can drink and you drink all you can drink, you shouldn't go to a second location after because you've no, simply no, drank no. all you can drink. Yeah, yeah you should just You're probably, probably go home and sleep it off. Yeah. What's do you guys have the odds makers? I'm leaving it after I ask this question. Mm -hmm. Do the odds makers have any guesses for the number of beers that I'm going to take down tomorrow? I'm going domestics, by the you way. You said you're going to break the record. Yeah. You no, I'm not going to break the record. You're going domestics? I'm going domestics. What yeah. was the record on the sandwiches? 13 would be a record. Or at least it would beat the guy from last year. Somebody correctly pointed out that's in play. Yeah, They're small. It's not that bad. They're, Especially if you're walking up and down the hills. Not that bad. You're They're burning Well, that just said a guy did it last year. I bet there's some dude out there who did like 31 years. They're basically like little snacks. Yeah. They're not big. They're not big Johns. Um, I think you're gonna do I think you're gonna do eight tomorrow. Really? Yeah. I have me at like I have the line at five and a half. You gotta stack the cups. I don't know if I need to. Stack the fucking cups and take them home. But I have some already. Yeah, but they don't say 2024 20, on true. them. Yeah, it's, it's not true. the one that you went to. It's true. It's true. All right, guys, I gotta go. Get out of here. Bye, have fun. Right. It's been Lay. real. It's been Lay. special. Have fun, man. It has not been real special. We'll see you, man. Okay. Dude, that was such Dude, a that cocky was, that mic was such swing. such a cocky mic swing. You don't have to swing the mic. Jeez. Uh, what mic number Let is me he? see your mic swing. This guy's going to the Masters, man. Uh, is he Mike he, three? He's four. He's Mike four. All right, yeah. you're officially off. Bye. There he Later. goes. Right, I'm gonna Proper fix Dylan's camera. Wow, what a send off. Damn. What a treat, though. Does anybody even care what I did? No. I mean, fuck. Do you want to hear about on. fucking T-ball? It was a cute scene. I know that. It was It was good. T-ball was good. The weather sucked Saturday morning. Yeah. It was just kind of cool, but humid, but windy. So mm. it was just, you couldn't figure out what you needed, if you needed a blanket. Not me, but for the ladies. Uh, T-ball is going well. Uh, we're 2-0. and oh. We're not keeping score. I'm just kidding. It's It's <laughs> a weird deal. Um, but uh, two for two, he did not hit the tee, which you love to see. A lot of kids get up there. There's some kids who get up there and they swing hard and they got good swings, but they smoke the tee. And you're like, okay, just get on with it. Hit the ball. Yeah. Roach just gets up there. He doesn't swing very hard. He's also three and uh, doesn't really – he's the smallest one out there, but he he connects. And this time he did not run after the ball. He dropped the bat. Ran out of the baseline a little bit, but he got to first. The kid's learning. Ran to second uh, when it was time. And then when they, were, when they were just sending them all home, he ran from second to home. 
which you don't do see a lot of people it's doing. It's actually against the rules. He went right through the pitcher's mound. Oh, really? Yeah. The, he, char he charged a mound from second base. He did. Yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> okay. Just right into home. That's great. Yeah. It was fun. It's cute, man. We um we had a big outdoors weekend, man. It was low key. Dad was doing Peronis. Went to the park and found a good park a couple weeks ago. And we've been going ever since. Uh brought Randy, brought our dog to the park. He was good, which you love to see. You never know how dog, you know, gets in that situation where there's hundreds oh, yeah. of people. He was good. We had a lot of fun. I tried a recipe. I've been uh, in on this Daryl, cooking with Daryl. Um, he's a rollback guy. Uh, Post does his recipes. He knows his way around the kitchen, a little bit on the grill. He had a skirt steak burrito bowl recipe that I wrote about, said I was going to try it, and I did. And uh, the entire thing is premised on marinating it, letting it sit in um, citrus fruit <laughs> juice to uh, tenderize a little bit. So... Did some orange, did some lemon or some lime, excuse me. Let it sit for a few hours. I don't know what I did wrong. It was not tender in the least bit. In fact, it was quite chewy. I mean, you're you're pretty much just swallowing whole meat, which you don't want to do. Mm. But it was good, and I've, I'm eating it left over. Um, everything else but that was good. If you can deal with some uh, meat that's just in no way tender and a little bit jerky-like, you're going to like the way you look with these. I guarantee it. Last night... Oh, Will's back. What's up, dog? What happened? They cancel it? Is my mic up? Uh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, I gotta, I gotta move the camera back. No. Uh, Is the eclipse here early? No, nah, Sally locked me out of my car, so I gotta like chill here for a few minutes. Oh, that's classic Sal gal. Yeah, she came to pick up something out of the car and, uh. Just locked locked my keys in there, which mm. is not ideal. Ooh. IMO. Wait, don't you have OnStar? You can unlock nah, it. No, I don't here. pay for that shit, dude. No, I'm in my old car. Oh. And, I, and it, while it has that, it's one of those services where you have to pay for it pay in for order play. to unlock you about your this? car. You hear about this? I did. I thought about shattering the window, but I'm not under that that big of a time crunch. Ooh. It just means that I'm gonna get on the flight a little hungry. Shout yeah. out to the Atlanta airport, though. You gotta think they got like. You gotta be hungry. I think it's a great food airport. What are you guys talking about? My weekend. Um, you want to hear about uh, T ball and me fucking up a skirt steak? I, I already knew you did that. I knocked out three more episodes of Generation Kill. On my Dude, rewatch. Did you fin have you finished Curb this season yet? No, I gotta do that. We'll have one more. I have like five more. One more. <sighs> you always ask, and I always think that you're about to say like. Dude, you need to, but you always just are like, yeah, I haven't, I haven't either. We've been slowly going through. It's Shogun season on this flight today, though. Nah, Shogun. You starting it? it? Shogun. Yeah, uh, I've just heard such good things about it that, like, why not? Why not go in during a time that's like I got nothing else to do? I I'm, thought you I'm might, not paying for Wi-Fi. I thought you might run back, um, Glenn Powell, Sydney Sweeney. I, it's not the worst idea. It's not the worst idea. I have Shogun downloaded. That's really it. Yeah, I had this whole uh, grand idea of starting Shogun, but somebody in my house, not going to name names, wanted to uh, just randomly watch Peaky Blinders. By the order. Which I'm fine with. But the Peaky Blinders. Got Shogun, I got to start. I'm out on Shogun. Okay. Not my jam. Well, you've been showing guns today. What are you on, FitBod? That's right. Oh, shit. It's good. Look, man. The essential <laughs> thing that you need the essential way to confuse your muscle fibers, it's FitBod. Yeah. It's a fitness app. Yeah. creates completely personalized workouts that adapt as you improve, as you have, young man. Yes, that's true. It also tailors your workouts for exactly what your desired results are. And your workout environment. Are you working at home? Do you have bands? Is it just body weight? Or do you have a full gym at your disposal? <laughs> It'll set you up exactly how you need it. Whether you're a seasoned gym goer or just starting your fitness journey, FitBod will push you to make progress. It's like having your own personal trainer, Dylan, but better. It's cheaper. You can work out anywhere with or without equipment, and it's easy to build a custom fitness plan that works for you. What, uh, you doing any bodyweight stuff? You ever do that? What do you got? You got that kettlebell I gave you during the uh, lockdown? I don't do much bodyweight stuff. I'll do some, I'll mix in some bands every now and then, but mostly I'm just at the gym, just moving big boy weights. Bands will make her dance, man. That's We've right. We've been saying that. 
FitBod creates a personalized workout routine based on your goals, fitness level, and available equipment. It adapts as you improve, so each workout will be challenging to push you to make progress. But FitBod also tracks your muscle recovery, which is very important. You want to avoid burnout and keep up your momentum. Fine-tuned by experienced certified personal trainers to bring best practices and exercise to you. Learn new movements the right way with over 1,000 demonstration videos. Add FitBod to your workout essentials. Join FitBod today to get your personalized workout plan. Get 25% off your subscription to try the app free at fitbod.me slash steam. That's F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash steam. Will's back. We got to hear about this altercation. Yeah. Um, I, want, I don't want to – Okay. So there's a, a little league altercation at my at my son's baseball game. I'm talking eight, eight nine year olds. Parks throw at someone. No, I I want to be careful because I don't I don't I don't know who's going to listen. I don't, I'm certainly not going to single anybody out here. This yeah. song's about a little league altercation. But I think that uh, that baseball is is the worst for this type of incident. Like it sets up. I don't know. Parents just get so into this. I mean that this applies to all sports. So I understand, but. Man, there was a, a questionable call on the field, and I'm um, sure. To be fair, I, I, <laughs> from my perspective, I had like a bad angle at it because it was a play at the plate. Um, we had a one of our guys. We were we were hitting. So one of our guys was trying to score. This is for the third out. This would have been the third out. Slides under a tag, and the ump calls him out. Are you allowed to slide in this league? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Slides under the tag. Um, calls him out from my I was exactly perpendicular to the play so I'm like basically even with home plate the guy's running to home so I I didn't see I couldn't tell if he tagged him or not so I was quiet I, I stayed completely out of it I'm happy to announce okay I gotta ask for context were y'all out of coaches challenges like could y'all not review this one uh we yeah they don't they don't do that All right. so there's a play at the plate and apparently the catcher missed the tag uh, um, calls him out, third out, and it was a, it was a, bases were loaded. It was a big play. the t- The score was tied at, at this time. Did he emphatically call him out? He went like that. It was just a fist pump. Okay, just a, <laughs> you're out. You're out. Seventy <laughs> percent of the parents sitting around me just exploded. Just yeah. like stood up, like no, no. Just for a reminder, it. just just to remind us, how old are these kids? Uh, eight and nine. Okay, okay. Just, just I just wanted to make sure. Is this a travel team? Just is this a select sure. ball? No, this is no, this is not this is not serious stuff. Okay. Here. <laughs> and so all the parents just like start just just losing their minds. Uh the our, the coaches on my team, uh, they also were, you know, arguing with the um the so they have there's a four run max. You can, once you score four runs. Actually that, that didn't apply here because it was the third out. Never mind. So it was the inning was over. The other the other coaches also start chirping at our coaches and they quickly like hurry like get their guys off the field like not even give them a chance to like you know sort through the call and get it corrected and stay on the field like oh back to the dugout like hurry them off really really fast okay there's still some john going on who's john who's doing the main john who the parents the 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 parents on on our side okay yeah the parents on our side um what like what kind of things are being said because like if this was a major league game there'd be swear words but are people just being like there, there's, Come on up. I'm, I'm, I'm going to share the kicker here in a, in a couple of minutes. Um, but at one point, there was a, a coach who had just – the coach from a previous game, he was hanging around watching, and he came over after like things started to calm down, and he, he addresses our entire stands, and he goes, any more of that, and you guys are going to leave. Can I just say that dude loves ball? Threatens to kick the parents out of the game and remove them from the Good. field. I love this dude. Good. Yeah. First of all, he's sticking oh, yeah. around and to, he to was, see the like, rest of the game. He, he didn't say it in a friendly manner either. He was like very stern. like Imposing lad? We will, we will get you out of here. I was like, oh, this is getting Do you think this age is the serious. breaking point for when parents like are like whatever, it doesn't really matter, to actually caring? I don't know, man. Like they're, they're... – <sighs> You shouldn't argue with the umpire. What? Well, okay, okay, arguing calls is different than arguing. Like, if your kid gets like, if he's playing soccer and gets like a slide tackle into his knee and like he might get hurt or something. But like, getting upset about calls is much different than getting upset than like about endangering your child. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so this is all going on, and then it, it continues on. Like, there's still some chirping going on, and finally, our head coach, justifiably so, walks over and addresses everyone. He goes, 
you guys have got to calm down. Like if there's if an argument needs to be had, it's up to the coaches to do it. Please just stay out of it. And he walks back to the dugout. Uh, so this is all going on. Um, there's still like, it's just heated. The coach from the previous game that I mentioned, like threatened to remove parents. He was just hovering, just watching. Okay. The issue was warning. He said, any more, any more arguing with the umpire and the game was going to get canceled, forfeited. Here's the kicker. The umpire is 13 years old. <laughs> oh, no. He's a kid. Oh, no. May, maybe 14. What? Certainly not driving age. Like, he is a kid. And he's like, like <laughs> guys, like, it's like, that's a little much, man. He's a kid. <laughs> so bad. He's getting oh, paid now. I, I understand. I understand the heat of the moment. Like you, you want your kids to succeed, and like there's a. It, apparently, like the call was clearly missed. The coach said he meant like he, the tag was missed by a good six to eight inches somewhere in there. It was a bad call, but like, and I understand heat of the moment. You like you want to stand up. Like no, no. I heard his uh, strike zone was a little inconsistent. A too. After your initial emotion <laughs> kicks in, you want to like chill out a little bit, right? And so. uh it was just – I was uncomfortable the whole time sitting there. I stayed out of it, happy to announce, didn't do a thing. But, again, I didn't see the I didn't see the call. I, I heard you were calling call. him a GDI. <laughs> it was bad. Oh. It was bad. Oh, that's funny. And, and then after the game, we just – I was like, oh. it, 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 Like, in front of the kids, you know, like, that's – we got to be the parents, you know. You got to – you can't – you can't – you can't get into that's, it like that's that. That's so awkward for the kid. It like is awkward for the kid. If you're a mom or somebody's yelling, you're just like, oh, God damn. Yeah. Been there. Hey, been that kid in hockey. Oh, and apparently the team that we played, which, by the way, this is our first L of the season. This team is really good. Okay. And there's yeah, yeah, the Elms there's too. somewhat of a rivalry game here because this team beat us in the championship last year. This Most of the kids on the team have been playing together for a while now. The year before – we beat them in the championship. So there's a this is a rivalry game. The the mom oh, wow. sitting next to me was like, "This happens pretty much every time we play this." What team. happens to the record books when these two teams meet? You pretty much just have to throw them out the window. It's crazy. Yeah, mm. crazy. That's yeah, she paper. was like, "Yeah, this happens every time." Did you? Did the good guys lose? Yeah, we we lost. I'm sorry. That was it. Hey boys, I gotta go. Yeah. Bye bye. All right, man. We'll see you uh, for real this time. Yeah, I guess for real. All right, buddy. I'm not gonna do a cocky football. thing. All right, buddy. We'll see you. That's so embarrassing. It was bad. It was bad. What do you I mean? Can yeah. anybody go apologize? I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking the, the like ump, there's no way the ump was a grown The a ump grown deserved, man. deserved an apology. The kid deserved an apology. As like, he was in eighth grade. I mean, he's, he's dealing with a whole crowd of just angry parents who were like shouting at him. Like, I was in eighth grade once. Guys. I cannot imagine being in that situation. He, and to his credit, he handled it extremely well. Did he, he clap acted, back? He acted completely, un, no, he acted completely unbothered by it. So to his, he, to his credit, it was just uncomfortable, man. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been in that situation. It's, it's um, not fun. Outside of like one hockey game I can remember with my parents wasn't just my parents, but the uh, it was roller hockey, and it was it was not like a it was it, we did have a travel team that I was on, not to brag, but this wasn't even that. Like this wasn't the tournament team, and there was some rule I can't remember what it was, power play or something. And my dad yelled. He was thinking it was the end. My dad, you know, <laughs> Stars had been in Dallas for five years. So my dad thought he was <laughs> he knew everything about ice hockey. Yeah, and the guy out the the ref was like, that's not the rule. My dad said, oh, yeah, it is. And he goes, why don't you go look at the rule book? And my mom just goes, oh, don't worry. We will. <laughs> and I was just like, She oh, probably did. No, and no, we didn't have no. Nah, you didn't look at the rule book. The internet was slow. And you, you hear, 56K. You see stories in the news about these things escalating and like parents getting fights. I think someone like someone's gotten shot on a football field, like parents and and talking about like yeah, little uh, kids playing. What's you know? his name? I think in the Dallas area, this happened not long ago. Like someone brought a a Thule out. Akeem, and, was it Talib? Who was it? His I brother. Don't know. Yeah, I don't it was know. like a professional athlete's like sibling. Oh yeah. really? But it's oh man, parents just get so into their kids' sports. And it's like in an unhealthy way. I mean, there's the whole South Park episode about the Little League. Yeah. Thing and Randy just keeps on fighting it's, everyone. It's a major problem. And before the season started, like their emails are sent out and like the coaches have to go through like this training course on like how to handle 
like, you know, escalating situations. So it's like a known problem for, you know, little league games, not just baseball, obviously, but kids sports in general. And it's just, man. Parents, so there's going to be an email sent out. Yeah. They're going to have to be like, hey. There's got to be. We haven't had one yet. I'm surprised at that, but it, I'm sure it's coming. And it, there probably needs to be one, to be fair. Yeah. Um, they don't serve beer at these things, do they? <laughs> no, no. No, they have a uh, fun dip and, and soda and Gatorade and okay. seeds and stuff. Um, yeah, t the the t ball thing it's it's just fun. They don't keep score, but um, I can I can see, given the level of seriousness, I can see in some of the dads' eyes who are just helping out. They want it to be something more. Like there's yeah. dads who walk up with a bat bag. Yeah. For t ball. Yeah. With t ball bats. Yeah. Like, I just don't think you need that. No, no. Oh, my God. So uh, we have plenty of games left. I will uh, I'll update the record as things. I kind of want to go. You should. I kind of want to go. You should one. go. You need come to let come me watch go. Parks play. I will. I'll, I'll, I'll chili dog it in the outfield like yeah. uh, Chili Dog's dad did. Yeah. It's a cool little uh, stadium, too. If I'm, I don't want to be too distracting to Parks. He might get... He might actually might play a little angry. I say stadium; it's a field, but it's it's a cool little situation there. What part of town is it? Uh, Central, right, right by the right by the lake there, Town Lake. Oh yeah, I can do cool, that. cool backdrop. See the city; it's cool. Okay, Randy, I hear you got some memes to show us. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean we need to post these soon. All uh, right, we're pulling back <laughs> the curtain here. I, I made some memes for the solar eclipse that we're going to post, and uh, Dave wants to do a live reaction to them. So I guess I'm going to throw up on screen. We're going to be, yeah, think. we're going to be transparent here. We we were like, hey, don't show us these. We want to look at them on the pod. We'll post these. We will post these memes on uh, these going on washed or yeah, cycling back. Washed. Okay, so you can go see them there. Go follow washed, or you can just watch us on YouTube. You can see it there too. That's true. Um, oh, you got the eclipse gum. Oh, on. I see some good. I see some good meme in here. All right. I mean, you know, maybe I should just add myself. And yeah, okay. You guys are on the screen, but uh, what do you want to go first? If you hit the USB, this one's a video. Oh. What do you mean, hit the USB? Uh, just turn up the USB. Oh, it's up, baby. Okay, hold on. There we go. There we go. We got a meme video. Yeah. Oh my! I forgot my scrolling on my mouse sucks, so I have to physically click it. There we go. Okay. Coming out of the gate strong. We're going out of the shade strong. Ah. <laughs> she got your ass. That, of course, is the uh, the wire meme. Uh, and it said, uh, people, all the people that bought filters for their phones. Oh, that's okay. Okay. I'm going to give you a B. Thank because you. just because if you have Clay Davis in the meme, then you're good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. That's good. Uh, you want you want to go ahead and read this one off, Dave? You know there's at least one corny motherfucker who brought this into the office today, and it is a uh, photo of Eclipse gum. Ooh. How, how do you rate that one? B plus. B plus. I'll give it a B minus. You can do better. Okay. Well, hopefully I do. Let, let's 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 move on to- We know. Okay. This is an engagement play. We know this isn't going to be our best meme. This, this oh. one was actually Dave's right here. This was a, right, this yeah. is Dave's meme that I just oh, made it, for him. We got it's a Timon. Timon sighting. Shout out Timon. Me to my coworkers around 1.30 today. It says, bro, let's go out. The problem with this meme is that it's very obscure and you have to know the reference. And I think the majority of people reading it will not know that reference, but they might still enjoy it. Randy, look. I put some. It's I put Nick's some. Play. I put some solo. That one's for us. This one's for us. This is a minus because you do it for us. It's you a wash do what makes the company. And, laugh. and I put the little eclipse glasses on. To that's a there. that's a nice touch. Hey, hey, good job there, bud. Hey, no problem. All right, that's the leader in the clubhouse thus far. Not just saying that because it's mine. Uh, this is the Teletubby uh, son, and I have put about to be the wildest game of peekaboo for this motherfucker. Mm, I can tell Dylan hates it. <laughs> that, was, that, that one's my favorite. <laughs> Where you at? Go uh, ahead. That, I noticed that's the second use of motherfucker uh, in the memes so far. Yeah, we're, we're I'm, feel, I'm feeling we're dangerous today. this morning. It's game day. Game day. Game day. What do you think? Sorry for cussing. Great. It. It's fine. It's a fine uh, if, if Randy likes it, then then That's I'm all okay. that matters, man. Yeah. I'm giving it a B. All right. Uh, so, so far, you've given only an A to your meme. Correct. Uh, this is the uh, Abe Simpson. Old man yells at Cloud. Um, and it says, everyone in the South right now. My brother texted me this morning how it's just a sunny day up in like the Chicago land area. Oh, uh, yeah, we're, yeah. And we're cloudy. We're getting so. smoked here. We're yeah. getting, yeah, it's, it's complete cloud cover, unfortunately. Could you, could you, in theory, fly a drone high enough to, to, to peep uh, above the clouds? I don't know how high drones go. How you, high do drones go? They, they go high. I don't know if they, they don't go above the clouds high. 
What if you had like a UAV? That, yeah, that one probably does. But I don't think Joni Hawk's getting up there. I don't think we got that type of technology. We should try it. That's a, Randy, that's, that's a good meme. Hey, thanks. That's a B. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, and then this one, uh, of course, was also a uh, a Dave kind of one. This and, is uh, and, this is the orange uh, man. This is Donald Trump. He's uh, former president running for president again. Uh, it says it's him looking up at what's he looking at? Like a plane, a bird? Nope. He was looking at the the eclipse a couple of years ago. It says Just rolling 20, the uh, dice 20, to see if I can get disability. Twenty seventeen uh, solar eclipse. And you know what? He was fined for it. Which I, I I tweeted during this one of my favorite tweets I've ever done. It's not that great, but it said a. Uh, uh, whole squad going to the optometrist tomorrow. Mm. We're all looking up there, you know, just testing it out, see what we could see. And it's not safe, folks. How many people actually? You'd be surprised. Really? Oh, yeah. P- so people will just shred their retinas looking at this shit. Shretna? Yeah. So. The rods and cones. Rhodes School. This uh, whole thing falls during nap time. And they send out an email and they're like, yeah, we're not going to wake them up. And they're like, it's not really worth the risk of them looking up, and they don't really know. Smart. And at first I was like, well, y'all are cheating them out of this moment that may or may not even be visible. And then I was like, you know what? That's the right call. They're not going to remember. So a lot year olds don't need to go look at A lot it. of schools in the totality zone are just completely taking the day off. I think they really anticipate bad traffic and just like yeah, potential yeah. like Parks to school, they're doing a cool thing. So they're, they have school today, but they have invited parents to go up to school, and everyone's going to go outside together. I'm going to bring a lawn chair up there right when I leave here for lunch. I'm going to go watch the eclipse with my with my son at school. Can Randy and I go? Uh, no. Only oh. parents are allowed. It's just going to be Dave and I in the in the parking lot over here ah, just looking out together. I got to go to meet my friend. I think this might. I got to go meet my friend for I lunch. Think, uh, Late I think- lunch. I think there was. Hey, Randy. Oh, I got two more. Oh, two more. That's a that's a Trump that's a Trump meme. The orange man. Um, I don't support that. So D, <laughs> not cool, Randy. Uh, this is Willem Dafoe looking up, and it's all the animals that don't know what's going on. Apparently, the bats are gonna leave their little. Uh, uh, South Congress, the bridge. Yeah. That's that's cool. So you could do a very very hyper local niche. The bat, bat meme, are... if you wanted to. You do this a bat is good. One. You're going to do William Defoe memes. I'm going to give you an A minus. Oh, and then uh, this is this is my last one. It's the the solar. Not the solar, the Polar Express kid. And it's a type of guy that's going to give you a bunch of solar eclipse facts that you didn't ask for. Yeah. That's good, Randy. I'm going to give that an A. Thank you. And that is my memes. And I'll post them on Washed and uh, probably not. I wish and, it was sunny today, man. That kind of stinks. Yeah. Kind of stinks. I thought like, I thought we had the tech to like potentially blow the clouds the other way. Have like, we thought about that? Have we thought about uh, getting some, fight- some fighter jets yeah. and just... Flying around and blowing the clouds away. We're just getting a bunch of boxed fans, stacking them. I got, I gotta rewatch that <laughs> that video. I haven't seen that video in so long. It's the, the guy talking about the fighter jets and the hurricanes. Think about it. You know the text there. Apparently, um, there's another one in Texas in 2044, but it's not a it's not a total one. The next total one is, uh, like I said, about 300 years away. That's fine. We might miss that one. When was the previous total one? <sighs> I, it's. I don't know. It's been decades. You remember at least. you're you're a little older than me. By nine months, but yes, I am. You remember the one when we were kids, like when we were doing like shoebox, probably like elementary school. I age. don't really remember it. I do remember that. It's probably hell. It's probably ninety one, ninety two. Great year. Good year. Cowboys are running in a form. Yeah. Um. No, Randy, you did some good memes on the fly there. Yes. Where was Where'd Brett? Go, Brett would have. Brett's gonna be pit. Where was he? Yeah, I put him in there. So. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's he's probably he's hanging out with people oh, right. to go see the actual eclipse. He's somewhere in like West, not West Texas, but West of Austin. He's in Fredericksburg, right? Maybe, yeah. He's oh. somewhere out Fredericksburg way. And they may have a better chance. I think the further northwest you go from Austin, the, the better it is. I'm really glad that Rhodes isn't excited to see it. Like, he doesn't know. I haven't brought it up around, like, around him. Because I would be really disappointed if – I bet you are because Parks is probably excited to see it, right? Or is he more into dinosaurs? He, he's – I don't know, man. I don't know how much this is moving the needle for parks. You even wore your NASA hat. Yeah, I got my NASA hat on. You drank yeah. a Cosmic earlier. We were no, drinking Cosmic. I'm, gonna, you I'm saving, saving it, it? I'm I saving had it for the Eclipse, actually. Man, I'm just saying it's – we got some good omens for the Purdue game tonight with this Eclipse. I haven't verified this, but last time there was an Eclipse in Indiana was 1863. 1869, which one Purdue was founded. <laughs> wow, that's huge, yeah. man. 
I'm going to get our lawn chair over there. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to throw a fat ass hula hut in. And I'm going to look up with uh-huh. my glasses on and see about it. Okay. Exciting stuff, man. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's got my stamp of approval. Manny, good memes, dude. Thanks. Let's see if the uh, the, the folks... Oh, he did the stamps thing. Okay. Thing. Stamps of approval. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. But- Look, man, when you're making decisions for your company, Dylan, you're always looking for no-brainers, right? Mm-hmm. And if you have a lot of mailing and shipping to do, Stamps.com is the obvious choice for a reason. If It streamlines your processes and makes your business more efficient, freeing you up to focus on the bigger decisions. Do you remember when we founded this thing back when it was like a Bunsen Burner Media LLC yeah. Yeah. for those two weeks? And then right after that, changed it to Wash. Of How course. big was Stamps during that time? Stamps.com. Huge. Huge. We've been using Stamps for a minute now, Dave. It was so good. Easy, Easily schedule package pickups. Through your stamps.com dashboard. All you need is a computer and a printer. They even send you that free scale, which we do have here. Automatically see your cheapest and fastest shipping options from different carriers. Mm-hmm. Mail checks, invoices, legal documents, books, and everything you need to keep your business running. Seamlessly connect with every major marketplace and shopping cart. If you sell online, access USPS and UPS mailing services. You need to run your business right from your computer. Or phone anytime, day or night. No lines, no traffic, no waiting. <laughs> Get rates you can't find anywhere else. Anywhere else, like eighty nine up to eighty nine percent off USPS and UPS. Order shipping and mailing supplies, labels, and even printers from supply stores. When you run low, make the same no brainer decisions as over one million other businesses have with Stamps.com. Sign up with promo code Circling Back for a special offer that includes a four week trial. Plus free postage and free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code circling back. Boy, I wish Brett was here to answer for Morgan Wallen. Hey, real quick, before we get into Morgan Wallen, a lot of conspiracy theorists are going crazy with this eclipse, by the way. Have you heard about this What's stuff? your favorite one? Uh, that it's like the end of times, basically. Mm. Rapture is, is happening, and... And uh, judgment will be had, and it's uh, yeah, this is the end, the the end of days. I don't think it's going to happen. I sure hope not. I'd be fine with it, honestly. Really? Yeah. I got so much more I want to do. I got you got so many fat ass dips to throw in. I got yeah, dude. I got so much Lucy at my house. I got to burn. You got so many Hooters to throw in, man. So many Hooters. I got to yeah, man. Yeah. Um. Anyway, Morgan Wallen. Morgan Wallen. What he do? What this idiot do? Did he drop the N word uh, again? No, he didn't. But he did drop a, a chair off of the sixth floor balcony of uh, Eric Church's bar uh, called Chief in Nashville. Chief's bar six, in the two hundred block of Broadway. Six floors? Yeah. Why yeah. is it so tall? I don't know. Authorities reported the chair landed approximately three feet away from two officers. When the officers approached security to investigate the incident, staff members at the bar said 30-year-old Morgan Wallen was responsible for throwing the chair. I love that they didn't protect him. There's like this fucker again. It's, he's probably been causing uh, chaos in that bar for him. It's probably not his first incident is what I'm trying to say. Witnesses reportedly told officers that they were standing next to Wallen and observed him pick up the chair, throw it over him, and laugh. He was taken into custody for the incident and charged with three counts of reckless endangerment for the two officers who were in the vicinity and for the danger to the public. So was he aiming at the officers? I would probably don't know that. Again. No, I think he just blindly threw it off, which is really stupid. Fucking moronic. You could kill someone. I don't know what these, what kind of chairs these were. You know, if they were how heavy they were, they, that could kill someone. Like, uh, what if they were the chairs from our conference room? He would have been doing us a real favor because they are just a big heaping pile of shit and and heavy and heavy. Yeah. I tighten them up. They're better now. I, I fixed. I fixed those them? chairs up. Yeah. Can we talk about what you did to the chairs in the bullpen? Oh, I'm sorry. I, what I the fuck was that? About I'm that. just sitting here. Dealing I'm sorry. With, tell people <laughs> what, what are you, you doing. Did. I I was being a, a little annoying guy. You were being silly. <laughs> I was it. being silly. I was being silly, and it was just me and Brett in the office. And I decided to take the chairs and put them around Brett while he was working, so they he had, he would have to walk through them. In that process of putting them back, I accidentally mixed up. Uh, Dylan and Dave's chair. What was the, the payoff? Past. It was just you and him. Yeah, it was it was for my enjoyment. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff you do and we're gone. Yeah, I like to annoy Brett. Did did you work? Did it work? Did you annoy him? How annoyed he was he? He was a little annoyed. 
I think you guys got more annoyed by the chair. Yeah, because I had to adjust all my settings on my well, chair. I don't even have my chair anymore. I don't know who has it. And Dylan's already adjusted his to his liking. So even if he got mine, your chair is I'm not my chair. Take it, it was only your two chairs. So there was there. So my bad. I apologize. I'm okay, sorry. Andy. Just the lowest payoff bit. You didn't even like record it. No. I'm glad you didn't because it wouldn't uh, have been that good. But the thing that was that you sit higher than Dylan. I did not expect that. So I thought I got him right when I put him back. Well, Dylan and I, people forget we're about the same height, but he's got like half an inch on me. <laughs> so I do have to sit a little bit higher. No, my feet, my feet just dangle Fucking, in my office chair. <laughs> That's such an ick. Yeah. I'm giving icks. Fucking at this zany office. Randy. Okay, I don't know if it was the sixth floor, but it was the rooftop. She this. pulls up to the bar for her first date and his 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 feet are just dangling off the bar stool. Yeah. She just turns around and leaves. Like, I can't do it. It'd be funny to have uh Sig Uds in here to say like what we do that gives them the ick. Yeah. That could be devastating. Yeah. Cause I know there's some things. Of course. There's obviously some of things. Of course. You live with someone long enough. There's you know, not everything's gonna hit. Yeah. Ain't that true? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like this guy's kind of running out of uh like he wants to be outlaw country guy. The thing but is that, first of all, your first your first uh strike shouldn't be um dropping a racial slur. The thing about his fan base is that they're probably gonna love him more after this. Like, oh, this dude parties, you know. Will they be more mad about this or the other thing? That the other thing is completely forgotten. They don't care that he aggressively dropped the N-word. Mm -hmm. Very aggressively. And and it was a hard, hard R. I I forget that he. Uh, I thought that maybe he did a uh, rehab, did some treatment. You know, after that, maybe rehabilitate his image, but also like, hey, I probably shouldn't drink if like I've got that play in my book. Yeah. Where I just kind of randomly scream yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, maybe after this, because it these are felonies. He did an interview with bad. with Michael Strahan soon after that incident, which just set him up with like just a very large black man to interview him, which I thought was pretty funny. I don't remember that at all. Yeah. They sat him down with Strahan? Strahan. Yeah. Okay. They talk about the incident and saying that word. Did they get to the bottom of it? I don't know. I don't know. Man, this is tough. Yeah. I um. You want to know what I did no more than three days ago? What's up? I've been really beefing with Spotify, just kind of really hating what they're doing on my playlist. Their, their, idea, of a, their idea of a country playlist, based on the type of country that I listen to, is not what I think it should be. Meaning like if I'm really heavy into um, Sturgill, Zach Bryan, Tyler Childers, those types, which are kind of the three of the more modern guys that I listen to of the last, you know, five years. Yeah. Well, they'll create me a playlist, but they'll throw a ton of Morgan Wallen in there. Yeah. I've gone in and I have deleted that artist from my Spotify, so he will not be served to me anymore. You know, I, I do have to admit, I think he has a good voice and he has some catchy songs. Definitely talented. I just can't bring myself to just fully dig in, considering he's just uh, kind of a shithead. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A real wild card. He is. But ladies love him. I don't know why. He's not a not the most handsome man. Let me guess. He's like on the right side of six foot? I don't. I don't think so. I don't think he's a big fella. Okay. Yeah. All right. What's the latest on this eclipse? What's the cloud cover looking at? Yeah, where Walk is it? Where, that window. Where's the zone right now, Randy? Yeah, uh, you know, south. I think it's probably in Mexico right now. We're getting hit like totality at one thirty, pretty much. So I don't, I don't have the map open. The, the clouds look not great, but it isn't like super overcast. Okay, like there it is. It's don't hate that. Thick, but like we might be able to still see through the clouds right now. Okay. So. Full disclosure, and I think we talked about this this morning. I thought driving in today was going to be chaotic, just because Austin, a destination city in the totality path, there was nobody on the roads. I think they they correctly like scared everybody away from driving. I think people are hunkered down. Yeah, or they're just they're out on like the highways and stuff. Like downtown Austin has has been fine for the next hour, according to the um, weather dot com. It has upgraded from cloudy to mostly cloudy. Ooh, that's good. That's a good thing. So we'll see. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. From cloudy to mostly cloudy. Oh, yeah. Seen tomorrow? Might be in for some big dog storms. Big time storms. Yeah. Mm. What do you want to do for Patreon tomorrow? Ooh, good question. I just think we run back some kind of conspiracy show. You think so? Just you and me, maybe Randy. Tomorrow could be an interesting day for the Randy. Tomorrow might not come if the world ends today. That's true, and we but we might have a, our boilermakers. That's true. 
could Ooh, be emergency right. Patreon celebratory pod. Ooh, We'd I have so much so. to say I, breaking I down so. that game. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I'm doing a live posting right now of the clip memes. What's the line on that game, Davey? Do you know? Randy, do you know? No Who's clue. favored? Uh, I would assume UConn. UConn for sure. Yeah, they they're they were number one seed overall. They, they sure, have a right? guy who's almost as tall as Zach Eady on their team, Klingman. He's oh. like seven two. Yeah. How are we feeling about Zach Eady tonight? I uh, you know, I'm good. As long as, you know, if he can draw the fouls like he, he does, you know, we'll see. He does a thing that's really frustrating if you have a very, very large, tall man as your center. He gets stripped a lot. Dude, I, oh, I had these. It's, I it's couldn't, very annoying. It's really annoying. If you're pulling for that team, it it's makes like, him why look, do you have the ball down low? It makes him look so clumsy. Like I, He got stripped so many times. Yeah, get it up, dog. What are you doing? Purdue's getting six. Ooh, that's a big line. I might sprinkle. It's, it's all going to depend on if we're hitting threes or not. That's. Are you nervous? I, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Were you watching it? I think I might go to trifecta, which is the Purdue bar. I gotta say they have a couple of really annoying white guards on that team. Braden Smith, Fletcher Lawyer. Did they, there was one play where one of them caused a caused a turnover. It wasn't even a crucial part of the game, and he was just like just flexing in front of the crowd and shit. It's like, dude, get back to the fucking. Did you like the uh, stadium shots from people and? Seemingly normal stadium seats that are like 300 yards away from the court. I didn't notice them. It's those arenas are just it's it's not good. I'm very interested not to see the, viewing. the fans. Like I know a lot of people that went to the game stuff, and this is the first time like we're in the championship since 1969, which we we put a man on the moon that year. I don't know if you knew that. Boiler up, but like we're a big basketball school. Indiana's like the basketball state, so we travel well for sure. Yeah, you're not there. Yeah, I I was thinking about going, and then like with the eclipse, all that stuff like that, I feel like coming out of Austin was going to be so so much of a hassle. But then again, a lot of people in Indianapolis, and that's totality. You never told us what you did over the weekend. Uh, yeah, I, I I celebrated my birthday, even though I didn't know I was going to. Where'd you go? I didn't get a call. So Friday, just went out to Las Perlas. Have you ever been there? It's a bar on Seventh Street. It's a Texas Dives favorite, I believe. It, it's pretty cool because it's a tequila bar with tacos. But like also conjoined to a whiskey bar that's uh, like kind of like swanky and has pool tables and a stage, and it's like conjoined by a patio, and they have like a small like rum uh, tiki bar out there too. So it's all the same establishment, but three bars in one, and it's really really good. You been? No. Okay. And Never so, heard of it. Uh, one of my friend's girlfriends, uh, she took she she uh, her hair caught on fire taking a picture of me at one point. Got into a candle. That was pretty funny. Was that the young lady on your uh, Instagram yeah, story? Yeah, it was. It was quite the funny memory. But she's fine. That the hair didn't. They put it out pretty fast, so not too much damage. But it was pretty funny. Mm. Uh, and then Saturday, I wait. Went did out she to a uh, pop punk cover band? Did she run up to a toilet and do a do a perfect handstand on it and dip her the top of her head into it? No, no, she didn't. Oh, okay, that's what you're supposed to do. That's what you're supposed to do. Was is it? Was if you're a ne'er do well, Home Alone. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Joe Pesci executes one of the most perfect handstands on a toilet you'll ever see. It was very athletic. Yeah. The, by the way, the toilet was filled with kerosene and not actually. Water. Yeah, just a sneaky good prank. Somebody should do a power ranking of every. Uh, it's wild how those pranks all worked out perfectly to plan. Smart fucking kid. Yeah. Sociopath, but smart. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then I went to a pop punk cover band or an emo thing. It was called Emotion Avenue. So it was like Ocean Avenue, but it was spelled emo. Nice. So did they was, play it? Uh, by the time I got there, they never played it. So maybe they earlier in there. And then Sunday, I got drunk on my balcony, which I didn't think I was going to do. I, I have quite the bender that I was not planning on doing at all, and I'm very, very uh, disappointed in myself. But I gotta say, weekend. you don't sound as bad as you would have a year ago. Oh yeah. After a bender. Yeah. Just got drunk. It's on, a birthday bender, though. You yeah. got you're riding those vibes. It's just some margaritas. Just on the balcony listening to country and stuff. It was great. Okay. Good for you, Randy. See y'all tomorrow behind the paywall. And hopefully yes. I will be celebrating a Purdue win. Hopefully. I'm Maybe we'll I'm just mix it for up. your Boilermakers, Randy. Maybe tomorrow we'll just call our friends. We'll bring some friends in. We'll just do something fucking wild. Because Will's out. Wild ass. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, I like it. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Jingle bells, bells, bells. I don't care. I'm getting wasted. <laughs>
Fuller, help easy on the Pepsi. Easy on the Pepsi. Easy, easy on the Pepsi. Fuller, 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 go easy on the Pepsi.